We're in the Kosciuszko National Park, heading for the slopes. Now normally, as you can see, you'd need to have an all-wheel drive vehicle. So you think with a Ferrari, you haven't got much hope. But this is one with a difference. It's called the FF. The name stands for Ferrari 4, and that model name has two significances. One, this is a Ferrari with four seats. Second, it's the first pricing horse with four-wheel drive. This being a Ferrari, it isn't four-wheel drive technology as you might otherwise know it. Forget centre diffs or prop shafts. On normal dry roads, the FF is rear-wheel drive like any other Ferrari. But encounter wintry conditions such as these, and a secondary two-speed gearbox feeds off the engine's crankshaft to provide torque to the front wheels and aid traction. Good in theory, but does it work in practice? Well, we're on a slippery road heading up to Perisher Valley, so let's see what happens. Meditino vehicle setting switch to ice, boot fall. You can see it's just not fitting in too much torque to spin out the wheels, and it's, you can feel it gripping at the front of the car, helping the rear wheels get the contraction, making sure that you're nice and safe, you've got the stability you need for going around the bends in very tricky conditions. The linear power delivery on a hilly road coated in a fresh layer of snow is simply stunning. You can sense all of the traction control ingenuity Ferrari developed in Formula One before the technology was banned. But the FF is also a Grand Tourer that will make the long scenic drive to the mountains as comfortable as it is epic. The FF has a beautifully controlled suppleness to its ride, which is great for reeling in huge distances. It's not quite as dynamic as a 458, but this is still a pretty large car and surprisingly agile for something that's nearly five meters long, two meters wide, and weighing nearly 1,900 kilos. The steering particularly is a highlight. It's ultra fast, so you turn into corners really quickly and with surprisingly small amounts of lock. Ferraris, of course, are famous for their V12 engines and also those classic soundtracks. There's lots of lazy performance with just 2,000 RPM necessary for 110 km an hour, and that's just a quarter of the maximum rev range. You can go to 8,000 RPM in the FF, and this is what it sounds like. Is that Formula 1 enough for you? At 8,000 RPM, the Ferrari FF is producing a mighty 486 kilowatts of power. It only needs 3.7 seconds to reach 100 km an hour from standstill, or 200 km an hour in 11 seconds. The price tag, though, is also pretty staggering. The FF costs $625,000, but our test car was worth more than three quarters of a million, fitted with options totaling more than 130 grand. A standard Ferrari is clearly not unique enough for some buyers. Some people say true Ferraris have two seats only, but the FF is a proper Ferrari in the way it drives, in the way it sounds, and in the way it stirs visceral emotions. It's also a car that brings a broader scope of abilities to a Ferrari than ever before.